Hello friends and welcome back to another weekly lab vlog. So my name is Jessica, if you haven't visited my channel before, I'm a final year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen and my PhD is in the field of chemistry. So as you might be able to tell from my orange top and my earrings it is the 31st of october so it's halloween today and it's monday and i'm in the lab trying to get a lot of things done so i actually didn't film in the lab last week yeah it was a very busy week and i just did not have the energy to film to be honest but i am trying to be better this week and basically last week what i did was i revived the new bacterial cultures that i was sent from the culture collection and fingers crossed now that they are going to work perfectly and i can finally finish my experiments so i gave myself a goal the other day that i want to finish my experiments by the end of november fingers crossed and then that will give me three months to finish my writing send it to my supervisor get the comments back edit the thesis and submit it by the end of february so let's see how that goes so this week i'm going to try and run some of my bacterial experiments which i need for finishing off a chapter of my thesis and first of all i'm going to filter some seawater and listen to some music while i do so and then prepare the samples that i need for the assay. I'm starting off with just one of the experiments that has only a few samples just to make sure that everything is working as I would expect it to and then I can do the bigger experiments and like I say try to finish these experiments before the end of November. Earlier today I was uh, helping Poppy who is a PhD student in our lab. She's working on some sponges and I've been helping her get started so I will try to film some of the stuff that we do tomorrow and I will introduce you to Poppy and I've also been looking at the NMR data because I think I mentioned that the compound that I new compound that I found the structure of the NMR data part of it is not great so I've been running different experiments to try and really confirm that this is my structure and it still doesn't look very good so I need to dry that sample dissolve it in a different solvent run it on the NMR again so we're very busy anyway I'm going to filter the seawater speak to you probably tomorrow Good morning from a very dark and rainy Aberdeen. Uh, not doing very good things for my mood and my motivation levels, I will tell you that. <laughs> so I've come in this morning and I'm going to plate up the bioassay. My bacteria are growing beautifully. Fingers crossed they continue to perform beautifully. I think I mentioned that I got completely fresh bacterial stocks and I have revived them and now I am working with them for the extra experiments that I have to do for my thesis. Something went wrong along the way with my bacteria. I am not a microbiologist but I have been speaking to a microbiologist and there's a variety of different things that could have happened during the two years that I've been using these bacteria. I am not blaming myself because by the sounds of things it could just be to do with lack of expertise on my part and and potentially incorrect guidance in some places but we're not blaming anyone yeah so fingers crossed from now on the bacteria perform well so i'm going to sterilize everything in the micro lab and then i'm going to help poppy and then i'm going to plate up this bioassay it's quite like um it looks radioactive <laughs> i just honestly think it looks like urine <laughs> <laughs> yeah it does <laughs> hi <laughs> <laughs> that's poppy Poppy's just started in our lab. You're a second year, right? Yes, second year. And she's got very good pouring skills now. Oh. I'm making her feel awkward. <laughs> now I'm helping Poppy out with some lab stuff. Some sponge extractions. Sponge extractions, getting used to the techniques, working on sponges from different locations, but they are the same species. So my timer rudely interrupted as we were explaining <laughs> the really fascinating sponge extractions. <laughs> yeah, so they're sponges uh, that were collected at different depths, different locations. So Poppy wants to do a little comparison of their chemistry. Yeah, if they're any different. How fun. So I am on training duties today. <laughs> Supervisor. Supervisor duties. Hello friends, it's 4pm now and I thought I would just check in and give a quick update of what I've been up to. So after being in the lab this morning, I came home to work on a presentation for tomorrow because I have a very exciting meeting, basically giving a project update to a potential future collaborator that I met at a conference a few years ago and they were very interested in hearing how my project is going. So I'm trying to basically make a presentation which is an overview of my whole thesis to update update them on what's been happening. So that's exciting but very very scary. So yeah that's what I've been doing this afternoon. I've been working on that from home.
This is some figures from my latest paper, um, which I mentioned in my previous video. So go and check that out if you're interested to hear about my new paper. I really enjoy making presentations, so I'm having quite a lot of fun and trying to be a little bit creative. After I finish up this presentation, I'm going to go to the gym and play squash. And tomorrow we are going to my other office at the decommissioning center so I can prepare some more for this meeting and also do some thesis writing. So I will tune in with you guys tomorrow. So only the director is here today, so it's very quiet in the office, which is actually quite good for me to, you know, get some stuff done. I'm feeling quite nervous for this meeting that I have this afternoon. I think I mentioned that I've got a meeting with like quite a big company, <laughs> um, specifically someone involved with the research at the company. I don't want to give away too much information. And yeah, I'm giving them an update on my project because they're really interested in my work, which is so cool. But that's also very scary because I feel like I need to sell my work and I need to sell myself almost in case you know you've always got to prepare for your future and try to create opportunities for your own future so yeah I'm kind of scared and I'm nervous and I am only focusing on this presentation which is at 1 p.m and I'm not managing to get any other work done because it's all I can think about but I'm going to make myself a cup of tea to try and de-stress myself yeah then I want to practice the presentation and just try and calm my nerves <laughs> a little bit there is such a great tea and coffee making station here. I love coming out here. And also, look at this, a boiling water tap. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> Easily amused, obviously. There's always so many biscuits just lying around as well, and I never know if I'm allowed to take them, but they're so tempting. Oh, yum. I have five minutes until my meeting, and I'm scared. Hi guys, good morning, happy Thursday. Plan for today in the lab is check the microbial growth of the bacteria, check the biofilm growth of the bacteria, check if the NMR is working. If the NMR is working, then run my sample on the NMR. See if the LCMS is working. If that's working, prepare my samples for the LCMS tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have some time in the afternoon to go home and write. Let's see how the day goes. I'm going to biological sciences to check the growth of my bacteria. I caught, I caught a very good moment. Happiness in the lab. Yeah, that's it, that's it. He's infectious, okay. this guy is infectious, spreading <laughs> happiness. Yes. <laughs> giving motivation to do lab experiments. <laughs> So just before my phone dies, I want to show you my dried plate. So earlier you saw me washing it. Now you can see the biofilms all nicely at the bottom. There's also salt there because I wash 
with filtered seawater. But now I need to stain the wells with crystal violet so I can quantify the biofilms. <laughs> sitting in front of my computer trying to muster up the motivation <laughs> to do work because I'm really not in the mindset for writing but I need to write because this thesis isn't going to write itself so I'm going to put on the Pomodoro timer I'm going to do 25 minutes five minute break 25 minutes five minute break and let's try and get some words down into my thesis Hello, I am back. So it's maybe about an hour and a half later and it is amazing what some focused work can do. I've basically finished the introduction for one of my chapters. I have done all the referencing and everything, switched the order of some things around and all because I set my Pomodoro timer and just put my head down and got it done. Sometimes I feel like I have a mental block which is stopping me from starting certain tasks because they seem boring and because I just don't want to do them, which is very much going on at the moment with trying to write my thesis. But yeah, just getting started is the key. I've said this before, but just try not to think about it too much. Dive in, get started. And it's honestly amazing what focused work can do with no distractions, just focusing on the task at hand for an allotted period of time and you will get a lot of work done trust me now i need to have a look at my notion template to see what other writing bits i can maybe try and fit in for the rest of the afternoon well done jessica for actually just getting on with it <laughs> so i can tick something off of my notion um table where am i i can't see uh introduction for chapter six completed probably need to like edit it a little bit so i'll just make a note in this box saying still need to tweak but the bulk of the information is there Woo hello happy friday i am in the lab and i'm going to do the second extraction of the invertebrates that i need for the lcms next week i was at home this morning working from home writing but I'm a bit distracted because my best friend's getting married tomorrow, which is super exciting. But I have some lab stuff that I need to do today before group meeting at 3.30.